Okay, so this is what we're going for. This is the, the final product. So we have the quotation slide, we have the quote, and the person, JFK, who said the quote at the actual event where he said this, and using the principle of eye gaze. So JFK is looking in the direction, and in fact pointing in the direction of the quote. And you'll notice that there's this subtle fade into the black. So let's learn how to do that. So we start with the photo. That's a really decent photo that has some really nice film grain in it. We make it larger, move it to the left, and we could put the text in there, right? But this isn't going to work because we want to get rid of that line. We want it to just you know gradually merge into the black. Okay, so we're going to have this photo blend into the black background. So I want to bring in colors here because we're going to need that. So go up here to shape and you can choose any shape, but we'll use the rectangle or a box for now. And we're going to change the color to black and you can choose to fill up the whole frame this way if you want, but we don't really need to because these colors are going to be exactly the same. Next, choose advanced gradient fill. And then here we have black, you see, and here also black but we've turned the opacity down. So if it's not down, just make sure you turn the opacity down on this one. So this is what we have. And you can see it's accidentally in the wrong direction, but you just go up here to move the direction of the opacity. Okay, so we can move it around. This already is pretty good. So we can move this a little bit more this way. And then these, you can actually control the direction a little bit and try to make it as gradual as you can. So you can see something like that's a little bit too abrupt. It's still very abrupt. So just pull this back, this green back here. You could even pull this a little bit this way. Just experiment with it. You can even, if you want, pull this all the way, but then you're gonna get this exposure here. So then you can move this green back. Just however you wanna get it. So it's a lot of just experimenting to get it as gradual as you can. Okay, so this looks pretty good. So you see we have it here, like this. And now we can put the text in. Yeah, and there we have it, voila. So here's how I actually use the presentation in context. So we start with the date, and there's a clip from the speech. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. And then we can bring in this slide and then talk about that. This is all done in Keynote, so we go from him actually saying it to now putting up the passage that we're going to spend a bit more time talking about and highlighting. And it just has this kind of filmic effect. And this is just in Keynote, so that's just an overlay over that slide. You could also do it with video, such as in this case, so it's a video behind. And when we just did a gradual gradient from black to partially cover the video. Now, another way you could use it is something like this. Now, there's nothing wrong with this slide at all. The way the text is easy to see, you could put a shadow on it, but you also could use that same gradient fill to do something like this. So it's the same principle, the same way that we did it. All that is, is you can see, it's just the same thing that we just did, but we put it up at a, at a different angle. And maybe that's too black, but you can play with the opacity you want it to be a little bit lighter, but just a little bit darker up there so that the text is a little bit easier to see. That's how you do it. Advanced gradient fill is a way to blend in images and the background so that you can put some text in there, put a quotation and so on. All right, thanks very much. Bye.